So having just completed the new takedown at the Guardian Breach on Mayhem 10, I've decided to put together a guide on how this thing is completed, guiding you through all encounters until the very, very end. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and today I'll be doing another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps me out and subscribe if you do want to see more. So the Guardian takedown has not longer landed and today I guide you through the entire thing, every stage and every encounter. Now this will be done with no mayhem levels on just so it's easier for me to explain what's happening and I ain't getting mounted in the background from every single angle. So within the first part here it's literally straightforward, kill all ads in the area. Once you are done here you then have to go and stand on said pads to generate power to open the door by these crystals. For some reason though when doing it on a low mayhem level or it could be because I'm doing it solo when I did it on mayhem 10 I was in a team I'm not too sure but when I'm doing it solo the door's already open but if your way is blocked and these crystals are glowing you do need to stand on these plates, activate the crystals and the door will open. Going through the way you will come to this part here with a few ads will spawn with you which you can ignore, that's up to you. On higher mayhem levels though you may want to take them out. Then you need to jump across to this path right here and using this boost pad wait until the spinning platform up in the air is at an angle where it's on its side, biggest from left to right. Waiting for this will see you fly straight over and land on a platform behind it. If you don't wait and you hit the platform there's a good chance you'll bounce off to your death. Then jumping down the next few platforms you now have to take out all these ads. Careful though, one of these enemies who you will encounter throughout this whole encounter can only be killed via you shooting the orb above its head. These enemies get close to you and can explode, if that happens more or less it's lights out. So as soon as you see them shoot that orb. So once you take out all the ads you then have to activate the three crystals within this area. Once activated you then have to stand on each pad, 3 in total until they charge up. With each pad there are a couple of locations enemies will appear from. Try your best not to move off the pad though because it is important and if you take too long you will die. Just out of the blue you scream a flash white and you will die. It happened to me numerous times and you'll see it later on in the video. So keep your eyes peeled especially for those enemies with the orbs above their head as they seek and destroy you. So you do have to stand on every pad using the same method for each. Once you are done here the path will open up for you to continue on. Next up you have to make your way across a tight platform again just clearing out enemies that spawn in. Pretty straightforward if I'm honest. Go get them Zoomer! Once you have done this a door will open for you to continue on and onto a mini jumping puzzle. I'd first suggest you taking out all ads on the platform you are on. And then you need to take out the others that spawn in. These spawning when you jump under a visible platform which you need to get on and get across to progress further. But as soon as you jump on that first platform you will notice ads spawning out of a cube in the centre of the room. That's where you have to get to. These ads are really annoying as they can knock you off the platform. Which if you do fall down you will then have to take out the ads below before boost pads spawn in so you can get back up.
but once you are ad free and back up, it's quite easy to navigate three moving platforms to get into that center cube. So just follow the simple path I take to get into the cube. <sighs> Protest the flame with words of wind. Come then to burn to meet a coward's end. Okay, so next up we have the first boss encounter of Anathema, the Relentless. This encounter requires your full attention due to you having to keep moving around, getting to and from individual platforms. So in total there are five platforms, a center one and four others on its corners. So the mechanics here are quite simple. The boss will spawn in and move around following you to different platforms. On each platform there's a little time for you to lay down that damage before the boss becomes immune. Now when the boss does become immune it will start a kind of dome phase where a dome will appear around her and grow. It grows up until it eventually explodes so you have to get out of there before that happens. And you do this by jumping to a different platform using those boost packs. Now there becomes a stage in this encounter where the boss will spawn like shadows of herself who copy her mechanic of spawning those deadly domes. But this will happen on different platforms to the one you are on and the one she will spawn on. So here you have to be careful in which platform you jump across to. If you are too late and jump to a platform where a dome is about to explode, it's lights out. What I was doing was looking to the center first. If a shadow was spawning within the center, I'd look left and right. And there will become a stage where there will only be one platform free so you have to time it right and get to that platform quite quickly. Now you can survive in the domes but if you are in there when they do explode it's over. So quickly passing through one dome growing you should be fine and that's basically this encounter people. Pick a free platform, get across to it, the boss will spawn on it with you, lay down that damage. When that dome phase starts get to a clear platform and just keep repeating this process until she's dead. This, if I am honest, is the hardest part of the raid, just due to the jumping and the platforms. Maybe I'll take a breather.
shame to see such brilliant Okay, so when you are done with this encounter, move to the teleporter in the center of the room. Where we go to the next stage of killing all ads, which is what you have to do. Kill all ads. When you are done, you will get a little screen shake, and then you are ready to move across or maneuver across these platforms. Again, they'll be careful. They can be quite tricky for sure. The next stage is to make your way to the very top of the set of platforms to activate the three crystals, in which your next job will be to power them up. So travel to the very top and activate the crystals, then make your way to each and power them up. Be careful though because if you take too long, like I said earlier, they will explode and you reset. And I experienced this firsthand and had no idea what was going on. To activate each three platforms, at the same time kill all enemies that spawn in, and I do believe they're coming from three different angles, left, right and above, where you'll see them flying ads too. Kill them all.
And yet you do not comprehend the risk we all have guardians we must take. So once you are done here, people, and once you are done activating all three crystals, it's time to move on. So moving on again and again, people, it's about killing to progress. So that's what you have to do. Once you have done this, again you have to jump across platforms, which again you need to be very very careful doing. Once you are across these platforms, it's about killing or again to progress. There's a lot of this in this raid, as you might be aware. Here though be careful as you can easily be knocked off the edges. So stay away from enemies and just shoot them from afar. how you saw this going once you are done destroying all enemies it's again about those invisible platforms to progress Once you are over, you are onto the last boss of Scorch. So with this boss, there are a few different stages to it. The first stage obviously being the easiest where you just need to shoot him until a third of his health bar comes off. Then kill all the enemies he spawns in. Those enemies with the orbs above their heads in which you have to shoot these orbs also spawn in here. Remember, don't get too close to them as they will explode and kill you. Just shoot that orb from afar. Do this until you take off all three of his first health bars. Bullets for you. Everybody get So once his first half bar has been taken off, you are then teleported to another realm or another location in which you have to kill all enemies that spawn in here with you. Once you do, look for a teleporter to get back to that boss room.
Okay, so the second phase of this boss starts with you having to jump up onto a platform he's on via this boost pad and melee that purple crystal he is tethered to. Once you have meleeed that crystal, you then enter the second stage of this fight. Well, it's similar to the first one with these three stages of health. So shooting him and depleting his first, he enters an immune state where enemies will spawn in and he also shoots lightning around the room so don't get too close to him and be careful of it. I was using the transformer here so it didn't affect me at all. So upon repeating this process and depleting his second health bar, you will then be teleported to another place in which you again have to kill everything. Once you do, find that teleporter and get through it. Once you arrive back, you again have to jump up onto this platform and melee that crystal is tethered to. Guess I'll give it a whack. Then, with his third phase, with every moon stage of his final half bar, he slowly produces an orb which when at a certain size explodes and seemingly kills all within a certain radius or what can see it. Here I was literally hiding behind pillars, just making sure I couldn't see the orb upon it exploding and this happens with all stages of that third and final half bar. So once he becomes immune, hide behind a pillar and just take out those enemies. And then when you can, simply shoot his ass. Need some personal space! Guys, you will be done. It is as simple as that. Well, it sounds simple, but actually on the Mayhem turn, it is pretty hard. To be honest, I was getting many, many Destiny fuels from this thing, and that isn't a bad thing in my opinion. But all in all, I won't say it's as hard as the Maliwan raid, but in saying that, I am running a much better setup now with this raid and my Zane. People who are wondering the setup I'm using, I'm using my Chaosum build with the OPQ system mainly. I will link that build within the video description if you do want to check it out. But yeah guys, that's my guide on the takedown of the Guardian Breach Raid. If I were you, I'd run it on a lower Mayhem first, get used to it, get used to the mechanics, and then try and run it on higher Mayhem levels. And on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. Also, if you want to support me directly and become a member to my channel, do go ahead and click that join button. I do appreciate that support. But again, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.